Hi everyone, um, I'm Troy. Welcome to uh, Fox and Christmas vlog 14. Yes, 14. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to sew some corners. So um, I did a, I finished sewing all of these squares together and I looked at doing a few more um, like tests to see what would be the best way to do the corners for this one. And I think because how I have so many different types of corners because I didn't I didn't really I wasn't super consistent on which kind of corner I was working with um, throughout the, the blanket. So like this corner here is different from this corner, which is different from these two corners, which they happen to be the same. Um, so I think instead of me trying to A, work out how many stitches I need to work across here uh, to make sure that these line up because some of the squares are drastically different. Like this, these, these two squares, their number of stitches that um, connect them are vastly different. I think they're off by uh, nine stitches total. Um, so I have to, I had to make some stuff up as <laughs> I was sewing stuff together. Uh, so just so that way my corners are super, super crisp and clear, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to sew the corners together first. So that way everything's kind of tacked in place. Um, do a really, really tight uh, corner there. I'm going to uh, cheat some of my stitches here just to make sure it's really, really, really tight. Um, and then uh, off camera <laughs> for the next couple of days, I will be sewing the rest of my blanket together. So this is, of course, the 2020 uh, Traveling Afghan uh, organized by Two of Wands. Information is in the previous episode and uh, the splash page is down in the description. And um, without further ado, I'm going to get to it. So um, again, I'm just using the same needle that I had yesterday. I have a crochet hook just to pull things to the back as necessary. I'm going to keep looking back and forth and getting up to see if everything's in frame. Um, I'm pretty sure this is in frame because it was just a moment ago. And now that I've said that, <laughs> I had to check. So you can see here that my corners aren't lining up perfectly. So this is where one corner is. And this one can be pulled down a little bit too. Uh, but these two corners are kind of, this one comes up but then pulls out. And then this one needs to be pulled this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this corner and this corner and kind of kitty corner them together. And then I'm going to do the same with these two corners. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is by going down into the most corner stitch, which is this one, and I'm going to be pulling it through here, and I'm going to be working the kind of the same way for the mass as the mattress stitch. I'm going to be going in between my V's there, um, and then I just need to find the true corner of this stitch, which that's the true corner right here. So I'm going to go into that chain one. Okay. All right. So I've gone kitty corner here and then I'm going to go down into this stitch, grab, oh, I think I might be covering there, grab this little stitch here. It's a little tricky there. Pull that like that. And then I'm going to find the true corner of that stitch, which should be this one right here. Grab that. Alright, so there's, there's kind of like my crisscross here. So I'm going to pull as much of this tight as I can. So that way I can get those stitches to line up as neatly as I can. I'm going to go back into the bottom of that stitch and go across into this one here and pull through. So again, just tightening everything as I go. All right, and then now I'm going to assess what I need to do next. So what I'm going to do next is actually I'm going to like stitch one more, uh, like one more stitch around here, but I'm just going to go around in the circle. So I'm both my ends are here, which I will pull them through to the back later. Um, so this is the stitch that I pulled from. So I'm going to sew these two stitches together and then I'm actually going to go across <laughs> like that. Okay. So we will do that right now. So I'm going from my true center stitch on my, you know, bottom right square. I'm going to go one to the right, go through this stitch, go through its paired stitch on the other one here. I'm going to pull it through there. 
okay? And then I'm going to do my best to split a stitch here to hide my strand to come out to the equivalent, one stitch going up through here, okay? And then the equivalent of the second stitch on this one here. So these two stitches should already be sewn across here. Um, so that will help you figure out which stitch is which, okay? So now I've gone into this stitch, so I'm going to travel through, I hope I'm not blocking with my hand, uh, travel through the stitches here, move into the middle of my stitch here, and then I'm going to go into this stitch there. Pull that like so. And then I'm going to travel through my stitches here. Oh, my bangs are tickling my nose. Uh, and then I'm going to go through these two stitches here that have been sewn together by this seam. Okay. There. And then finally, I'm going to go back up through the second stitch that I found here by going through this intermediary stitch in the very corner, and I'm going to come back up to where I started. There. And then it's going to give it a nice little tug. So now that corner is pretty much sewn together. I'm just going to go ahead and give that a little tie. And then I'm going to pull this tie through the back using a crochet hook. Um, and I'm just going to find the best place to pull it through. There. And then this one can be pulled through. There. Okay. So now the only thing that you can see of that corner is <laughs> is my little knot that I've made. So you can hide this knot by using a similar color yarn. So in this case, since I started here in my knots here, if I had chosen a strand of yarn that this color, you wouldn't be able to see it. Um, or alternatively, you could work from the back side. It works pretty much the same, um, except you'd just be having your knot there on the back. So uh, what I'm going to be doing next with my blanket is I'm going to go and finish tacking all my corners in. I'm going to line up the edge corners as well. I don't know if that's in frame. I'm going to line up the edge corners as well and tie them together and sew them together before I sew all of my edges together in <laughs> one great big fell swoop. <laughs> Um, so that's a pretty quick one here for you today because all that I'm going to be doing, as I mentioned, is just sewing along, which we did. I showed you how I was doing that uh, yesterday. So I'm hoping here in the next couple of days I will be uh, picking up my stitches or crocheting, like doing a crochet around the, the whole blanket to start my border. Um, which I haven't even looked at that pattern. I don't know which designer has done that. I'll put that on the screen here um, And then I'll get that started and I hope that the extra balls of yarn that I bought <laughs> Are enough to complete this project. Um, I started with 13 balls uh, with the plan being um, well, I started with four balls um, and I started a different blanket but when I got to this blanket I went and I bought 10 balls to make the blanket because I was planning on just doing a few squares. Uh, I ran out of yarn, went and bought three more for a total of 13. And as I was uh, finishing up, um, I was two squares away <laughs> from finishing like the border that I'm doing here to expand the stair uh, the squares. Um, I ran out of yarn for the, for the last two and I went and I bought three more. Uh, so I finished that and now I'm sewing my blanket together. So after this ball that I'm currently working on, which I have about half of it left, I should have two full balls to do the border with, but I'm thinking my blanket is a lot bigger than the, the main blanket, like the Afghan, the 2020 travel Afghan that has 24 squares in it instead of my 20, because my squares are that much bigger. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.